Hey guys, what's going on? It is Salvage here, and today we're going to be making an Injustice 2 video. Now, before we get into the video, if you are new and you like Injustice, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. If you do enjoy this video, uh, make it to the end or make it halfway through. If you did enjoy it, then go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, so we're going to be talking about a few things here, and the first thing I want to talk about is Darkseid. Now, Darkseid was leaked a few days ago on the PlayStation Store, and it was leaked that he's going to be a pre-order bonus for the game. Now, I've heard a lot of people say, and mainly YouTubers like Caboose, and uh, a few other YouTubers that do Injustice stuff, that he's going to be the main villain. And now, no disrespect to them, uh, this is my opinion, of course they could have theirs, but I do not think that Darkseid is going to be the main villain at all. Uh, the fact that he's going to be a pre-order bonus is very, very reminiscent of Goro being the pre-order bonus to Mortal Kombat X. And that was not really a good segue into bringing in a villain. If you want to bring in a villain, you do not say, hey, Darkseid is the main villain, but you could only play as the main villain of the game by pre-order bonus. That makes no sense. So uh, let me rephrase myself. Let's say this. If you want to play as the main villain of a six hour game, you have to pre-order the game. Like what kind of logic is that? That's not logic. That's really, really a stupid business decision right there. The character is in the game. The model is in the game. The person is in the game, voice actor and everything, as the main villain. But the only way you can play as the main villain of a six hour story is, get this, get this, you gotta pre-order the game. That makes no sense. Darkseid is not the main villain. And if he is, I don't know what the hell NetherRealm is doing. I respect NetherRealm, right? I really hope that they make a fantastic game. But the fact that they would have a pre-order bonus for Darkseid, and Darkseid's the main villain of the game, would literally make my mind melt. It would make me think that NetherRealm really doesn't really care about the story or the character. They just really care about, you know, that pre-order bonus, if you know what I mean. Now, of course, I'm going to pre-order the game because... I mean, I'm a YouTuber for the game. I'm going to probably do a walkthrough. I'm going to be doing a multiplayer walkthrough. I'm going to try to do one or two combo tutorials and maybe a few week ofs. Now, if you never heard of a week of, I'm going to go off topic real quick. Uh, if you never heard of Maximilian Dude, I think that's what his name is. He did week of uh, Batgirl, week of Martian Manhunter, week of Zod. Uh, many of them were DLC characters. Some of them were like the Flash and Batman. I watched that. I'm going to take inspiration of them. Uh, of that, and I just gotta say it quick before people start, you know, plaguing me with, you're a plagiarist, you know, I'm gonna be taking that idea, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit, I'm gonna make my own videos of it, uh, each and every day, and it's gonna be a week of, or maybe a month of, because I really wanna get good at this game, Batman, Supergirl, Flash, Atrocitus, whoever, I don't care, uh, I really wanna get better at this game, so I'm gonna be doing a very long series as playing as that character, now, I just had to get that out of the way because I, I need to announce that there because people will say that I'm a plagiarist if I don't do that. Now, back to the topic at hand, Darkseid being the main villain. If Darkseid is not the main villain, it's most likely Brainiac, Superman, or Ra's al Ghul. Now, I say Ra's al Ghul because, of course, in the trailer, the announcement trailer, uh, the whole thing, I was basically somewhat wrong. I was like, you know, it has to be Brainiac or it has to be Mongol. Uh, it, it sounds like Rachel Ghoul. Even though Brain, uh, I'm sorry, Brian Cranston is not going to probably voice any character during this game, and he's definitely not going to be Rachel Ghoul. The the fact that I emerged from the from the pit, reborn, adapted that's that's Rachel Ghoul. Uh, I don't know why they would tease Rachel Ghoul and not put him in the game. That would be a very weird thing to do. But, you know, him being the main villain would be cool, but I don't know how they could actually introduce him into the game. Uh, he's he's not that big of a villain. The only villain, the only time I've seen Rex Ghoul as a villain to the Justice League is in the Tower of Babel. When, of course, he took Bruce Wayne's parents, uh, basically used Batman's plans to, uh, of course, you know, mix it up a little bit to make him a lethal dose of killing for Kyle Rayner, Wally West, Superman, you know, all of the characters back in the 90s and the, in the early 2000s. And it was a huge, big thing. Now, if they could do that again, I don't know how it could work because Superman's evil. Supergirl's in here. She's like on both sides. She doesn't know what the hell is going on. She got here in Injustice 1, in between Injustice 1 and Injustice 2. So, of course, she's kind of conflicted about what the hell is going on here. So, I don't know who could be the main villain. But Darkseid, for sure, is not the main villain. And if you guys disagree with me, please tell me why you think Darkseid is the ma main villain. I mean... It just wouldn't make sense to me why NetherRealm would put him as a pre-order bonus, but also as a main character of a video game. Like, that's that's literally like saying, 
hey, you could play this campaign for six hours, but you can't really play it until, you know, you pre-order the game or buy it for five to two dollars. And that's another thing you're going to be able to play uh, as Darkseid if you pay two to five dollars uh, if you didn't pre-order the game. If you just buy it straight up from like, you know, GameStop, which they probably don't have a character uh, thing, they probably don't have a character pre-order bonus, then you could probably buy them for 2 to $3 anyways. Uh, it would be kind of scummy, kind of stupid if it's only a digital pre-order bonus, but, it, and you know, they don't give any pre-order bonuses to GameStop or Best Buy or, or Amazon. That would be kind of s stupid, I don't know why they would do that, but I would really hope that they would, uh, of course, give pre-order bonuses for characters in different locations, but I don't know. Like, kind of like Arkham Knight, how the Arkham Knight DLC, uh, not the DLC, it was actually, it was actually, uh, Harley Quinn and Red Hood. If you pre-order for GameStop, of course you'll get, I think it was Red Hood. If you pre-order from, I think, Amazon, you get Harley Quinn. Uh, and then, uh, that was Story Pack. For Arkham Knight, they did it completely bad. They should've just been like, hey, you pre-order a game from anywhere, you could get Red Hood and Harley Quinn. I wish another one would do that for Dark Side, where you could pre-order wherever you want, and then boom, there you go, you have the game. I mean, sorry, you have the character. Another thing I wanna talk about is no new features. Now, a lot of people, including Maximilian, dude, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm taking a lot of inspiration from, another, uh, from a lot of bigger YouTubers, because I've been away from Injustice for a while. Uh, a lot of people are saying that there's no new features in the game. And it's very annoying. So I'm going to go on a quick little rant here and say this. Why does Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman basically have the same exact moveset? It's, it's a very annoying feature that I see. And I do not understand. They only have like two or three new uh, power-ups. And new power-ups and new movesets. And the only thing that's really super different about them is their super move. That is lazy game development. And although I love NetherRealm, I love Injustice 1, I love the game in general... I really don't understand why they couldn't switch up all these characters' movesets. Why couldn't you switch up uh, Superman, you know, doing different things? Why couldn't you switch up Batman? And the same thing goes for Mortal Kombat games. The Mortal Kombat games are littered with the same exact gameplay movesets for each character. For Sub-Zero, for Scorpion, for Johnny Cage. Uh, like, for all of them. And it's really annoying to see the characters that, you know, you've, you've played as in the last game have the same exact moveset. Like, I'm just kind of frustrated that NetherRealm is not taking the time to make Batman a new moveset. Unless the gear system somehow uh, makes you have a different moveset for each gear set that you have, I, I just really wish they would do that, but they're not going to because it's just too much work in a very short amount of time for like, what, they've been developing for this game for like, what, two years, since 2015? Ever since Mortal Kombat X came out, they've been developing this game. I I'm sorry, but me personally, it makes me frustrated. Now, the, the back to the new features thing. The new features, the only new feature that we got is rolling. It's literally rolling across the map, so you want to get, you know, uh, long range by character. So let's say uh, you're getting hit from Supergirl's laser beam from across the map, and you can't move, right? Kind of like how Deathstroke basically uses pistols and sniper to shoot you from across the map, and he couldn't do anything. You couldn't do anything from across the screen. You were just trapped there unless you are like Batgirl or maybe uh, Superman or something, or someone else with a very long-range thing. The only new feature that you can actually do is rolling. And I think that is one of the most laziest things ever. And I love NetherRealm as a damn studio. I love their games. I love Mortal Kombat X. I love Injustice 1. But when your new feature is rolling, that is lazy. There is no new feature in here. I don't know one new feature. I can only name that one because that's all it. That's the only thing. You have new stage transitions, you have new supers, and you have rolling. Wow. I mean, I can't wait for the story of this game. I can't wait for the trailer tomorrow. But my goodness, if there is no new features in this game, I think a lot of people will be upset. That's something that we need in this game. And even Maximilian Dude said when he played at, I think it was E3, when he played the game, when you only roll, that's stupid. That's a very bad, lazy game developing. And I'm hyped for this game, right? And I know I keep saying positive things about NetherRealm, and I keep bashing them at the same time. But I'm very upset when all of this happens, when we have no new features, when we have no uh, characters that do different stuff, when we have no uh, actual cool features that we could use in the game besides the gear system. The gear system is basically the really big feature that we got, right? And uh, that's cool, that's a cool feature, but it's, it's really just two new features 
and one of them's rolling, and then the other one is, of course, a gear system, which might be microtransactions too, which we haven't even gotten confirmation of. And I just gotta get into that real quick. This is gonna be the last thing I gotta talk about. Microtransactions should not be in this game. The game is five months away. We have gotten no word, not a single word about microtransactions. There was an IGN interview out there where Ed Boon was talking, and the guy asked, this is building up perfectly for microtransactions. Is there going to be microtransactions? Ed Boon legit said, Oh, we don't know yet. Well, uh, maybe. Maybe there will be. If there are microtransactions in this game, that will be ridiculous. You know why? Because more people should play the game instead of going into their wallets and actually fucking paying for it. I know time is more precious than money. And you could just throw money at the screen and get whatever you want. But you shouldn't do that. So, I'm saying right now, if you are one of those people that buy supply drops, if you are one of those people that buy a bunch of things, and you're not a YouTuber for the game, and you're not someone who, like, you know, absolutely adores the game, don't buy microchance actions from Netherrealm. Do not. Unless it is Darkseid, unless it's a new character, don't buy microtransactions if there are microtransactions in Injustice 2. It is stupid, and it should not be a good business practice, ever. That's a terrible business practice. Yeah, I don't like the businesses that just throw out microtransactions. So that's it. I'm, I'm done. I don't want to make this video like 15 minutes long. I'm done. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys are new to the Injustice videos, go ahead and show me what you guys want to see in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.